it is Pokemon Go Fest Day 1 starting on Saturday, July 13th and running to 10 a.m. all the way to Sunday, July 14th. And this Pokemon Go Fest 2024 is extra special because we have tons of new shiny Pokemon that are available for the first time. We have a Sun and a Moon Crown Pikachu. We have a shiny Jangmamo. And we have the new Pokemon Necrozoma, which is going to be appearing in raids. I'm starting my day off against this Buzzwald. I use my Mega Charizard X and my friends, there's five other of us in here, are battling to take Buzzwald down. Now, to start going through all this fun stuff, you do have the availability to get a special ticket. And there's going to be some perks that I'm going to go over a little bit later on in the field, in the in the video and in the in the field in the game. But for now, I want to uh, advise you guys to get out there and play. Now it is really hot outside, so drink lots and lots of water. Now we're going to take on this Necrozma raid. And as you guys can see, lots of my friends, I've made the Tyranitar. There's six of us, and we're going to take on the Necrozma. Now the reason it's so important is because the Necrozma, you can actually fuse it with two of your Cosmog, um, evolu Cosmo, uh, Cosmog evolutions, and you can get Dusk and Dawn forms. So not only can you do that, now that's available, you can do that if you do a paid ticket, and you can do that on Sunday, um, July 14th. And then um, I believe the people in Europe have that capability, but um, in the U.S. we're going to wait a little bit, and that's fine. It'll give us plenty more time to get more Cosmog candies and power up our Necrozmas. But the big thing about these raids is they're super fun. You do need some teammates to help you out. And because it's psychic, um, it's things that are very effective would be your Dark-type Pokemon or your Shadow-type Pokemon. And as you can see, it's super effective against most of my team so if you're able to get a mega that has dark type strength it will boost your teammates and boost your attacks to make it super effective against the necrozma and it looks like here we defeated it so let's see this would be my first um necrozma raid of the day i did do three and i was able to catch two but that's okay because tomorrow we're gonna get back at it and go out and catch some more pokemon if you use the orange berries, it's going to come out as like a green yellow circle. I tried a pineapple berry earlier. It was like still red or orange. So but it's not impossible. Now, if you go ahead and pay for the ticket, you do have an increased incidence or prevalence of the shiny necrozma. And here you can see kind of the stat. So you, to fuse it, you need these plus three Cosmog um, candies, which is totally fine. We can work on it. But I think it's such a cool character design and character type. I'm excited to see what it looks like when we're fusing. And I was able to power up to level 42. So this is super exciting. It took me a long time to get here. But let me know in the comments, guys, what level you're on. And what are you working on? Are you going to build a Pokestop? Who's your best buddy? Um, all that good stuff. So I'm just kind of taking a look at my next level 43 requirements. I think I needed to win a raid. Something I've already completed. We need to catch five legendary mythical Pokemon and some other things here. Last but not least is for today, July 13th raid day for the Pokemon Go 2024 Fest was the Formosa. I don't have this Pokemon in my Pokedex yet, so I wanted to battle him. And then the fact that I only... You know, you can take this Pokemon on with only two people because we were able to win this raid with only two of us. As long as you guys are above level 40, it should be fine. And I primarily focus on fire type Pokemon. I haven't seen any shinies yet, but I have heard that there are people that are getting them. Like I said, they're more common with the people who are paying for the ticket. And that's totally fine if you guys want to do that. Um, I probably won't buy the ticket, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. And I'll try to do a little bit more... Uh, raids and recaps and stuff um, just so we you guys can see kind of everything I caught like I said just one Formosa one Buzzwald and then I think three Necrozoma raids I did catch two at that time and then of course I leveled up to level 42 so it's been a really fun day just drink a lot of water guys stay hydrated and thanks for watching guys we'll see you tomorrow on Pokemon Go Fest day two